In this video, we're going to look at naming variables. And there are three major types of variables or identifiers that we're going to lay out rules for. If the rules in this video are not followed, it will not cause an error, but it is considered bad programming. So let's look at the three types of variables that we're going to be naming. First, we simply have variable names used throughout the program, the class name, and any method name inside of a program. Violating these rules will not cause an error inside of the program. They're still considered bad programming and for good reason. Let's look at each one and see if we can determine the reason we have each rule. The first one, variable names and methods should be lowercase. So whenever you name a variable or a method, it should always start with a lowercase. You can see in the examples here that hello, variable, and last all start with lowercase letters, and then all of these are uppercase letters. And you say, well, why is that a rule that variables and methods should be lowercase? Well, there's a very good reason for it, and it has to do with the next rule. Class names should be uppercase. So my class first and hello world are all uppercase. These are all lowercase. Why would classes be uppercase and variables and methods lowercase? It's so that you can tell the difference between the two. So if someone's sitting down to look at your program, they can easily identify what is a class and what is a variable. And if you follow this rule, programmers across the world will be very grateful. Next, variables should be self-describing. And let me show you what I mean. Over here, if I had a variable called net pay, you'd know what it means. It means your net pay. Or if I had sum, the variable would contain a sum of values. Or if I had a variable called light year, we would know that this variable contains an amount of light years or something along those lines. But over here, we have variables that are not self-descriptive, x, var, and ly. If you write a program and then two years later you come back to that program and try to code it, you're probably not going to be very happy with yourself if you used an x variable because you'll have to remember what was I trying to mean by putting x here. Whereas if you use something like net pay or sum, you'll say, oh yeah, this variable is the net pay and it's easy to figure out what I was trying to do inside the program. Another very good reason is if you do something like var, and you're writing a program, and then your fellow coworker or someone else who's working on a program with you sees var, they'll have no idea what you were trying to mean here, or ly for light year. So if you use light year or sum, your coworker or somebody else looking at your program is going to be far more likely to work on your program than if you had given it a non self describing name as opposed to a self describing name. Very important point. And variables should be camel case. In a previous video, we talked about variables not being able to have a space inside of them. Some people use underscore to indicate spaces, but it is common practice for words with more than one word in them to capitalize the second letter. And you can see why it's called camel case, because it kind of creates a camel hump inside of the word. And so we see num boxes, miles per hour, and student count. They all have capital letters when the new word starts. And if you see over here, if you try to read miles per hour, it might be a little bit more difficult because it's kind of all mushed together and it's not clear where one word starts and the other one ends. So common practice, you will see camel case throughout Java. And the last point that I'm going to make is that variables should not be all uppercase. And this will work inside of Java. This will compile and run. Again, it's under the non-error causing rules, but all uppercase words are usually used for constants inside of Java. And unless you're defining a constant, you should not use all uppercase letters. It's kind of like the reason for number one and number two. Why are variables and methods lowercase and class members uppercase? Because a programmer can just look at it and say, oh, that's uppercase, that must be a class name. Or, oh, that's lowercase, that's probably a variable or a method. And so back to the point, when a programmer sees an all capital variable, they know, oh, that's a constant variable. It's not going to change inside of the program. And if it sees something like one of these over here, it knows that it's non-constant. 
finally, what I've done here is I've put some examples of variables that you could name inside of a program. The identifiers could be a class name, a variable, or a method. And I, of course, separated out the two because class names have to be uppercase and variable names should be lowercase. So go ahead, pause the video, and take a second to determine which ones you think are valid names and which ones are invalid. All right, let's look at it and see how you did. Class names should be capital. M in my is not capitalized and therefore is invalid. Tester is just fine. Average is just fine. And time test is not correct because it is not capitalized. And you also notice that it is not camel case. Over here in variable names, we have num tables. Variables should always start with lowercase letters. The T in tables is fine but the n in num should be lowercase. Coding is incorrect because it has a capital I right here in coding. And if you remember from the camel case example, the only thing that should be camel case are new words. So tables in num tables is a new word. The ing in coding is not a new word. So good idea works just fine and top count is also okay. Method names, you can have get fun, it's camel case, and would work okay. Y would not be correct because it's all capital letters. The only identifiers that should be all capital are constants. Z by itself is not okay because it's not self-describing. You have no idea what Z means or what it's trying to do. And finally, get name is wrong because the G is capitalized. If the G were lowercase, it would be fine because it is camel case, but methods should not be capitalized. Only classes should be capitalized. That's what separates classes apart from variables. These five rules will be helpful in your programming future. Programmers across the world will be grateful that you follow them so that they can easily look at your program and know what are classes, what are variables, what are you trying to describe with your variable or what are you trying to do with your variable? They'll be easier to read with camel case and they'll know whether it's a constant or not, if it's capital or not. Therefore, follow all these rules, not to prevent errors, but to create better code.